Okay, I'll try to explain uh, the Checkbook Pro uh, software. Um, I'm not an accountant, so this explanation is purely from a layperson perspective. So this is a Windows software. It does not work on Android, just for Windows computers and laptops. Um, so what this software is designed to do is to give you this uh, bird's eye view of your finances. There is plenty of uh, accounting softwares out there. Uh, these are basically double column bookkeeping systems where uh, you enter some data and later on you need the help of a accountant or some kind of professional to understand what exactly is going on with your own finances. The strength of the Checkbook Pro system is that at any given moment it can give you a very clear cut bird's eye picture of what exactly is happening with your finances. For example, um, l let's say you're spending $20 here, $50 here, $100 there on what you consider as a low-cost, simple hobby. And at the end of the year, you find out that you spent $30,000 or $40,000 on this so-called low-cost hobby and then you're totally surprised what happened these things can sneak up on you and this is the same phenomena you see when you go to Walmart you buy a few little little items each one is like a 99 cents a dollar 99 three bucks and then you go to the uh, cashiers and then you see a bill that's like uh, five hundred dollars and you're wondering I didn't buy much just these odds and ends each one is like 99 cents here two bucks here that's how money works if you don't have a clear uh, view from the sky like a general who is looking over the battlefield from the drone in the sky or the satellite in the sky whatever everything that can go wrong will go wrong and by the time you find out you are already scrambling to recover from uh, what could be a unfixable uh, financial situation. So the idea is um, as soon as the financial year starts or whatever starts, start using the Checkbook Pro. Enter every transaction you make into the Checkbook Pro. You'll be surprised at how organized your expenses and income everything will be and you will be surprised at how effective this is to cut back on um, useless and pointless expenses because uh, you immediately see what is adding up where. Another unique strength of this uh, Checkbook Pro system is that it is uh, what we call multi-axial. So just like the graph has x-axis and y-axis, uh, Checkbook Pro works along multiple axes. So when you first start up Checkbook Pro and enter your basic information, um, you will be creating uh, accounts. Now account in Checkbook, Checkbook Pro could mean, uh, for example, your bank account at US Bank or your bank account at Chase or it could just mean the money that's in your wallet or it could be the money under your pillow whatever it, it account means a place where you keep some money so money could be coming out of it going into it so checkbook pro will keep track of what is going into that um, quote unquote place where you keep your money whether it be chase bank or under your pillow doesn't make any difference and doesn't matter how many different places you're keeping your money checkbook pro will help you keep track of all these things so that any mo any given moment you know exactly what is where that is access one access two now we don't live in single dimensional lives or even two dimensional lives our lives are filled with all kind of dimensions that uh, overlap 
cross, contradict, and uh, mix up things. So, for example, let's say you have a regular 8 to 5 job and you get a paycheck every week, every two weeks. That could be... Uh, so, under, under Checkbook Pro, you would enter that as my day job or whatever you're doing. Then let's say you are running a Amazon business. Um, it brings in a little bit of money. It sucks up a little bit of money. But that could be another group. And you call it my Amazon business. And let's say you are uh, having a AdSense account where you're making some money off uh, YouTube. And that could be another group. Now remember, each one of these uh, undertakings, whether it be a home finances or it be uh, one of these uh, uh, after hours businesses or uh, business in my garage, so to speak, each one of these things sucks in money and may give you money. It may fail, it may succeed. What is crucial in this scenario where you have so many different things overlapping is that you have to be able to keep track of everything. And maybe you have a, you have a personal bank account and you have a business bank account. But realistically, if you're going to go buy some printer ink that you will be using for your um, business, for your home business, and you buy some uh, vegetables and groceries on the same visit of Walmart is that a business expense is that a uh, Amazon expense Amazon business expense what is it so and you used you did not use two debit cards you use the same debit card so let's say you spent uh, $50 on that visit and uh, out of the $50 $30 was for the ink which you're going to use for your online business and twenty dollars was for food so that twenty dollars would go under your the group that you made which is uh, my regular job or home or whatever we call it and the rest of it would go under my Amazon business now all of all of this uh, meaning these two transactions both would show up under the bank account that you used. Let's say you used Chase Bank for that for that transaction. That fifty dollars would show up under Chase as spent. Okay, but if you look under Groups, under your Amazon business, the thirty dollars you spent on ink is clearly given, and the twenty dollars you spent on food would be under your home expenses or your regular job um, so at the uh, and this has a lot of advantages so at the end of uh, each quarter or uh, financially or whatever and you want to talk with your accountant and they are trying to find out which one of your expenses is uh, uh, deductible uh, and uh, indeed some home expenses uh, such as supplies may be a deduction depending on the nature of your job like you are doing a temporary job somewhere um, and it may be a deduction if it is for a specific business so the accountant when you give them the printout at the end of the year or end of the quarter everything is neatly categorized you know even though you use one debit card and mixed up your expenses your home expense and you mixed up mixed up the home expenses with uh, 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 the uh, the business expense checkbook pro keeps that clear and separated because of this multi-axial system now instead of that one transaction you made at walmart imagine a few thousand transactions and a uh, five or six debit cards credit cards uh, uh, checks you're writing uh, online transactions you can imagine the chaos um, now 
when you're using Checkbook Pro, regardless of what you're spending where, as long as you enter the information into Checkbook Pro, at any given moment you can have a accurate bird's eye view of what is happening where. Like how much did I spend on ink cartridges last week? How much did I spend on ink cartridges during the last 12 months? Maybe I need to get out of that printer and get myself a new printer that doesn't drink ink uh, so badly. Um, how about that little hobby of mine which I thought uh, cost almost nothing? Um, how did I end up spending $2,000 last month on this uh, simple uh, little harmless hobby? Maybe that hobby which is not creating any wealth for me, I need to cut back on that. Maybe I need to be more selective what I am spending for that group. See, so you can make as many groups as you want depending on what niche you're working with. You could make a group for uh, my, for example, my uh, kids' education. So let's say um, end of the end of the academic year you find out this particular school is costing crazy amounts of money and uh, uh, the value you're getting is not uh, worth it then maybe you need to rethink that school uh, so uh, to summarize you get a bird's eye view of your finances okay and another great thing about checkbook pro is that it is very mindful of what is called uh, click burden. Now, nowadays everything runs on software, but people who create this software never pay attention to how much of a burden it is to enter data into the uh, into the software. And I'll tell you a, uh, an example, and this is not related to Checkbook Pro, but if you're trying to get a doctor's appointment, do you know why these days you had to wait three months, five months, six months, even a year? Doctors who used to see 40 patients a day now see maybe seven patients a day. Why? Because 90% of the time is spent on the computer typing in stories, long, long stories that nobody ever reads, including themselves. That is because those who designed those uh, softwares never thought of the click burden. How many clicks does it take to enter one little bit of information that with a pen and paper you could enter maybe in two or three seconds and helps no one. Um, so, but that's a different topic. Now, Checkbook Pro is very mindful for reducing click burden. There is two ways in which you can enter any data. There is a new button, brings up a big screen with all kind of options. And there's a rapid input section where you can just uh, type in the amount, select the category, um, name uh, who you paid the money to, the comments if you want, select the group that is important, select the account, click save, it is in. It takes like, uh, uh, I would estimate maybe five to ten seconds per uh, transactions very quick very fast uh, especially if you are uh, entering every day's uh, income and expenses uh, um, regularly uh, this would be totally effortless um, aside from uh, what we already talked about checkbook pro also has a very powerful report system now it, uh, it has a it has three levels of reports one is a summary which is what your accountant will probably want to see at the end of the year or the end of the quarter. Uh, by category and by group, it will uh, tell us uh, how much uh, was spent uh, for a given uh, period of time. So on the main screen, you can select uh, the period of time, uh, which groups you want to be shown. Then you go to report, you get everything neat and compact. Um, so you can find exactly what happened and when okay and uh, then it has a detailed option where it gives you all the transactions and then uh, checkbook, checkbook pro also has a um, receipts option now receipts option is very powerful 
if when you're entering a transaction you also uploaded a copy of whatever receipt uh, you received or any other document uh, pertaining to that transaction and use the report feature under uh, in, the, in the report tab of course you will get a PDF file in which every receipt is embedded along with the details of the transaction so you get an all-in-one document that covers every expense and uh, every receipt so this is like powerful uh, feature um, you don't always need to use it but if uh, somebody says uh, show me all the documentation you have everything right there so that way it's very powerful um, you don't have to use that that that's optional and um, coming to the other uh, things that are useful in checkbook pro that makes life easier uh, it supports most uh, currencies you can put whatever currency you want uh, if you want uh, the software to be guarded by password, you can set a password. It's optional. You can change the date format, uh, American uh, date format or international, whichever one you like. And um, and then uh, it also uh, has um, a means to export the data. So. You can export it as uh, special uh, files. Uh, if you are uh, going to be using this data on a different computer, you can export these files and uh, re-import it and use it. Uh, so, a lot of things, and I've just uh, touched on the main uh, advantages of using uh, Checkbook Pro. Uh, it's very intuitive to use and there's, there's a great tutorial along with it you can just uh, watch and learn very quickly um, but the bottom line is with checkbook pro you get a handle on your finances um, you get a bird's eye view of your finances this accomplishes the same thing that a drone in the sky or a satellite in the sky accomplishes for uh, for a general or somebody who is in charge of a military operation and um, handling your personal finances is no less, no less complex if you're juggling a lot of things especially if you have a, a home business and your um, uh, personal finances and uh, um, all kind of things are in different uh, directions so if there is any kind of chaos in your uh, financial life that you feel needs improvement checkbook pro is the way to go um, you can download it on checkbook.pro uh, that is c h e c k b o o k checkbook what it sounds like dot p r o checkbook.pro uh, download it uh, take it for a spin um, and uh, if you like it you can uh, purchase it for a, a one-time uh, fee uh, and uh, before um, we finish up, uh, one important thing I have to tell you uh, is extremely important. All data is stored right on your computer. Nothing leaves your computer. Nothing goes to uh, somebody else's server. Um, it's all in your hands. Uh, and this is good if you are concerned about privacy. Um, now, once you set up a password if you lose your password we cannot help you recover it. Uh, it, it the software is created in such a way that it m makes it very difficult to break the password uh, so this is by design but the downside is if you lose your sof software password we won't be able to help you get into it okay so uh, download checkbook pro uh, take it for a spin and uh, hope you find this um, to be something that makes life easier. Um, so good luck with everything. Thank you.